Hey, Lawn Dog, Jeff Foster here on our Lawn Care, on our Lawn Care.com. Hey, uh, it's Sunday. I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope your February is going good. I hope you got plans with what you're going to do that extra day. For all you leap year babies, happy fifth birthday if you're 20 years old or whatever. What are the four times five? I don't know. I'm not going to do the math. I don't care. I just know if I was born on February 29th and I was 30 years old, I'd be like, actually, hey, no, I'm only five. <laughs> anyway, stick around. We're going to go over uh, some contract stuff. All right, be back. Hey, so I mailed out my contracts a uh, week and a half ago, around February, well, let's see, let me look at the calendar. It wasn't February, it was January 24th-ish, 20th through 24th, somewhere in there. I think it was the 23rd and 24th, actually. And they have been constantly rolling in back. So I, you know, mailed them out with a self-address stamped envelope so they can mail the contracts back. And I'm getting an average, once they started coming in, about three a day. So that makes me really, really happy. Um, I got four here now, and I'm gonna show you what I do with them. Um, from entering them into my calendar, uh, and excuse me, my yard books under my customers, putting them on my spreadsheet of what services they want uh, and updating the um, schedule for this year, placing them in locations of um, what days to mow and stuff like that. Now, um, you know, that kind of gets adjusted as we go until the final result. And also putting them in my book over there, my contract book. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do there, keep the uh, personal information out of it. Uh, so stick around. I just got to figure out how to record the computer stuff, you know? I don't want to turn the camera around pointing at the computer. It's kind of dumb. I know there's a way you can record what you're doing on the computer, but I don't know how yet. So I'm going to figure that out. And once I figure that out, I'll be back. Cool? Cool. Cool. All right. Be back. A boogity 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 boo. boo. Oh my god, the blue lines are moving! The blue lines are moving! The blue lines are moving! This took me to get this. Stupid 1990 AOL dial up headset out of retirement and in a box in the back to finally get audio because I can't figure out how to get audio working on anything. Oh, I wish I understood computers more. Alright, let's get this going. All right, long dog. Now we got this going here. I'll show you what I do. So I told you earlier I got these three contracts or four contracts in right here. Um, I'm not going to show you their information. I'm going to show you what I do when I uh, get them, but I'm going to use my own information. So first thing I do is go to my Excel spreadsheet here, uh, and I've kind of blacked out everybody else. So we're on number 18. So in this case, you know, you can see the top up here, lawn maintenance. So at the bottom you see tabs. There's uh, what, five tabs down here, kind of the services I'm offering. All right, lawn maintenance is just our general mowing every week type thing. Spring cleanup, fall cleanup, you guys know what those are, and trim bushes. That's like in July, we'll go around, trim the, trim all the bushes, uh, do some hedging, anything that they've done. So, and then weed killer. Weed killer, uh, I'm not licensed to spread chemicals, so we uh, we use a, we have a, uh, an agreement with another guy uh, in town to take care of that for us. So anyway, so for instance, this contract comes in, I go through the checklist, see what they want. In this case, this person wants general lawn maintenance. So I add their name in here. So first name, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do myself. And then over here, last name, Foster, is it a commercial? No, if it's so instance, what I do with that one is if it's a commercial property, like maybe a, a landlord or if uh, uh, any kind of sense, let's go with Walmart. Okay, yeah, let's say it's Walmart. Walmart okay um, I put the address down one two three four Main Street sorry my ear is itching me all right and then uh, a phone number here one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. All right. Price per cut. Well, Walmart, you know, we're going to charge them $5,000. Not really. But anyway, that would be, I don't, oh my God. Per cut. <laughs> and then any notes. So that's basic stuff in there. Okay. And then I basically copy this stuff right here. Copy. All right. And then I go through every one of these. So Walmart wanted spring cleanup. So I go to spring cleanup. You see it's all the same. First, last, commercial, address, phone. Paste. Paste. Fall cleanup. Paste. Um, they want, nope, they skipped the, they skipped the trim bushes because Walmart doesn't have any bushes. Um, but they didn't want the parking lot sprayed, so we'll paste here. Boom. So I delete this because that's, I don't have their phone number on this one. That's the first step I would do. And then I'd go back here and update the prices. So spring cleanup is $700. Fall cleanup would be, you know, $150. <laughs> you know, the numbers ain't right. But, but they're just numbers. I'm just putting the numbers. Good. Showing you an example. Uh, so that stuff's in there. Um, Trim bushes, they didn't do. Weed killer, they did. And they picked, they wanted their parking lot and sidewalk sprayed in May, July, and September. All right? So we mark that down. And this is this is for me to keep track of what I want. And then I'll give, like, the schedule to the subcontractor. Um, but, yeah, so that's there. Next step I would do is go into yard books. So um, if they are I, a contract or if they are not a customer from uh, last season, uh if they were a customer from last season, I'd go in and uh, reactivate them because I have them inactive right now from last season. But if they're not a new customer, this is a new customer, I would enter their information now. All right? So it would go here, Jeff. And all right, that's my address, but we'll add their address 1234 Street. And it really isn't an address, but whatever. Uh, save it. Okay. I'm going to delete this, all this information anyway. All right. Um, and that's what I do so far on here. Now, if I know this stuff, I enter it. So I know the price per cut. What I say was $5,000. All right. If they had mulch, if they picked a mulch for the spring cleanup. So part of the, part of the spring cleanup is mulch. Um, I'd add it. So what Mark did is a lot of his customers that have mulch, he, let me know the quantity of mulch that was used over the last couple of years. So he like, let's say they use six yards. He, I know it's six yards. So let's just say I go back, I look at Mark's paper in the back and look through and research. And he said, yeah, you know what? Walmart had, we use six, six yards with them. So I just enter that in there and then lawn size. So something I can't find in the paper is lawn size. So what I would do is go to Google earth, measure it out and put in the lawn size there. Um, this is a fake address. I think it's a fake address. If you live at that address, I apologize, but I just typed in something random. Um, and I enter lawn size and I save it and be done. Uh, something I did forget because this person wanted mulch. So in the mulch and the spring cleanup here, you'll see at the top mulch, mulch quantity an hour. So mulch, I'd enter yes or no. And then I'd add her how much. And we said they wanted six yards. Okay. So that's just how I keep track of it. Um, I got four contracts, so I do that over the next four on all of these down here, lawn maintenance, fall cleanup, uh, July bushes, weed killer. So that's what I do there. Next, uh, I do the yard book. Let's see what else here. So next I would go into the, uh, schedule and what, this is the schedule that I've looked up or I've created. Um, basically you can see I got crew one, crew two, cause I believe I'm gonna have to have two crews this year. Um, which is going to be nice. Uh, so what I would do is I deleted all the other people that I've already had on here just for the confidentiality, but, um, I would go in here and find an address that's close. So let's just say on Mondays, I started entering these people on me. Okay. Um, so this would be the first house, house one street two. So these are already in here. These are contracts I already got in. Uh, what I would do then is look at the addresses on all these Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and all the way to Friday um, and see what area that property is at. So it's on Main Street and it's 1234. So we know it's close to this house. Okay. 
but it's a Walmart, so Walmart's going to take me a little bit of time. So what I would probably do is estimate instead of a half hour time frame from 8 to 8.30, I would maybe give them an hour, hour and a half for, for Walmart, uh, for two people. Um, so what I would do here is, is now I will, 9 o'clock, we'll do this. We'll merge this, format cells, alignment, merge, okay. We'll do the same thing over here, uh, format cells, merge. All right, so we know it's Walmart, so Walmart. And then with one, two, one, two, three, four, Main Street. And that's how I would do my schedule. Now, the schedule, once I get this filled out, the schedule is kind of, is always a working document. So I find one, I get one in, I get a house in, and I'm like, oh, well, you know what, the route makes it look better. Like, we should hit this one first, or we should hit Walmart before we hit this house. And the reason I know that is because after I get the address, what I do is I go over here and I pin it in my wall. So over here, I got maps of the areas that I kind of focused on, Fremont, New Ago, Grant, White Cloud, uh, even some Muskegon area, because uh, um, I do a couple properties on there. Now that one right now, Muskegon is not my primary focus. It's the New Ago, Grant, Fremont, um, White Cloud, New Ago. But I do want to eventually expand into Muskegon, so I, I, I'm leaving that open right now. And I do got a couple clients on there. That's why I'm trying to push more in, in Muskegon to make that drive down there worth it. So I got the pins here and what I do is I find the location and I pin it and I kind of plan my route on that so I found the location I pinned it and okay what are my other properties around there I already have them on that schedule so if I do my circle route or my less so I have less window windshield time uh, and that's how I adjust that and I'll go over there and adjust it to the best route that I feel is accurate to this so that's how I do that uh, and then I just three hole punch them, shove them in my 2020 contracts over here, uh, alphabetical order. I got them separated by residential and commercial and uh, put them over there. That's how I keep track of what needs to be done. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is, I got to upgrade. This is an old Logitech. I think I got this from my first deployment to Afghanistan. Back when Skype first came out, I'm going to take this off for a minute. Let's see if I got any information. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear me still. But yeah, this is how I first talked to my wife and kids on my first deployment when they were in Germany. And we didn't get to do it as much as we liked um, because I had to go to the MWR. The internet wasn't that great. We were in Patika province, Oregon E. And uh, the internet wasn't that great at the MWR. Um, and plus, I'm sitting there with my gun and my uniform, and, and, and I didn't want kids kind of see too much of how we um, we were. Uh, I didn't keep it too much of a secret from them, but I also didn't want them to see, you know, and I didn't want one of those issues. So, I'm back. Uh, I can only record 10 minutes and it shuts off on me. Hey, that's okay. It's still free. I'll record 10. I don't have a problem with that. I didn't know that. Anyway, um, I didn't want to be like, oh, no, uh, I got to go. You know, we're under attack or something. I didn't want to do that to my kids and wife. I just didn't think it was cool. Um, so we didn't talk much on the Skype. Uh, we did a lot of snail mail, which was nice in that first deployment. So um, it was cool getting packages and sending out letters and stuff. But anyway, uh, getting off the subject here. But that's how I do the contract and uh, stuff like that. So. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I will be back to you shortly. Um, and we'll talk about some other things. All right. Well, it's Sunday now. Uh, I'm going to get this video posted. But there's not much more I really want to talk about other than I need you to subscribe. So I got the card still. I'm hanging it on the wall back there. And uh, that's where it'll hang until I got 100 subscribers. Uh, once I get that 100 subscribers, We'll do a drawing. One of you guys will win this card and I'll get it in the mail to you. Uh, I wish I had realized you can do it electronically, but oh well. I bought it and uh, I got it and now I'm going to give it to you. So anyway, um, like, subscribe, check out my other videos. Uh, these ones over here. Um, it kind of goes over the big news when I published that, uh, that I bought clean cuts. Uh, watch that one. 
Um, like it, subscribe to my other videos. Anyway, all right, we will uh, talk to you later. And uh, hey, be kind to everyone. Go make that green. Out.